good morning. We all come in. We are just getting ready to roll. Put the hammer down towards Madison Hat. We are in North Dakota, about uh, 50 miles away from Minot, North Dakota. Like I said on yesterday's video, I didn't quite make it all the way to uh, Minot last night. I could have really, I could have, I had hours and everything, I could easily have made it there, but yeah. I was a little Turn getting right a little bit US tired. 52. And so I decided, you know what? A little tiny quiet place up here, so why not just spend the night over here and be done with it? That's what I did. And so here we go. Now we'll go see how much snow we got uh, further north. They said yesterday they got heavy snowfall warnings up there for Madison that area, so we'll go investigate, I guess, to see what they got up there. We'll see what kind of fun day it's going to be driving in snow. On this road for 47 miles. Well, I sure hope they clean the roads by the time we get up there, so which I think they will have done. And they said any of this, it's supposed to taper off this morning, so. By the time I get to Madison, ah, that will be all gone, I believe. Because I got 560 miles to go yet, till I get to uh, Madison, ah, Alberta. First, we gotta go through Saskatchewan, through Astavan, and Weyburn, and all that stuff. And then, uh, yeah, and that's with Kern and all that, and then we'll be in Alberta. So, uh, we got quite an adventure to go yet. It's gonna be a pretty much full day drive it's not you know I in Canada I can drive a little bit more but I only have 13 and a quarter hours for today so uh, I, I have uh, I can drive a full exact full day if I do my 15 minutes for free trip I can drive exactly 13 hours in Canada but it's not going to take me 13 hours to get there probably take me uh, 10 10 and a quarter probably maybe 10 and a half all depending on how bad the weather is and all that, you know. We are just going through Minot, North Dakota. It's bloody cold up here, but hey, at least we're rolling. I was gonna go get me a grease job done over there at the Minot, there at the one truck stop there, and I waited for an hour and 15 minutes. It still didn't get me in, so I left. I don't care. They don't want to take me in, and too bad. I asked him how long it was going to be. They said about 35 minutes he was going to be done. And it's already an hour and 15 minutes, and he still hasn't even taken the truck out. He's still working on the truck, so I don't care, and I'm leaving. I can't wait all day, you know? We are just coming into Portal, North Dakota right now. And uh, we will be in North Portal, uh, Saskatchewan right away. So, uh, yeah, so we're, we are going to be in Canada very, very, very soon. So, uh, we'll see you on the other side. Hopefully you'll join me with my journey. Just got across the border. Pretty easy going today. At least there wasn't a long lineup today. There's like two trucks ahead of me and, yeah, only a couple of minutes and I was out of there. So, that was pretty good. So now we got another 674 kilometers to go up to Madison, Alberta. And it looks like uh, the snow must have hit uh, further west. Uh, it certainly uh, no snow up here yet. It's pretty windy today, but other than that, I yeah, it's cold, but uh, no, no snow at all. So I guess we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed if the sunshine keeps on like this. We're gonna have good roads in Madison, at Alberta, so at least that'll be good. I wasn't really looking forward to driving in snow and ice, so looks like with this kind of weather, at least with this sun, uh, it'll probably melt all the snow off of the uh, off of the road, especially if they put a little bit of salt down. So we just finished fueling up over here at the Husky and had ourselves a nice hot shower. It's a much needed shower too. 
and as you can probably tell the ground is white so uh, yeah it's pretty slippery up here in the yard at least and uh, when I pull into this yard right here as on the left as you can see and my front end was sliding away from me uh, it's pretty icy in there that's for sure but hey we're getting uh, on our way to uh, Madison Ad. I got another 220 kilometers to go. In one we'll be there. Turn right on Trans Canada Highway. Highway so, one. Uh, with that, we'll get rolling. Put the hammer down. We'll be there tonight. I already got me a reload. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Good evening. We have made it to Madison Hat, Alberta. We just finished dropping our trailer and uh, we got informed to pick up an empty from the same place so we picked up an empty and uh, we'll go down to our pickup location tomorrow go pick up our load and uh, we'll tell you about where we're going then but uh, yeah so we uh, went over to the truck stop here and just had me a bite to eat and I'm back in the truck and it is bloody cold up here i can tell you that much it's minus 17 celsius and it's minus 26 with the windshield that is cold it's going to be a cold night luckily my apu unit seems to be working good my bunk heater works good i still nice and warm in here as you can see i don't have no jacket on or nothing like that so uh but hey, we are going to call it a day for right now. And then uh, I guess we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So thanks for watching. Give me the thumbs up. Share the video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, I would highly recommend. Hit that subscribe button. You'll be able to see all my newest videos. And you'll get notified if I have a new video. And so with that, see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thank you.